Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to do some additional problems on matrix operations. Let us start with the first problem. We have been given matrix A which contains certain elements and we need to show that the square of matrix A minus multiplication of scalar forward matrix A plus multiplication of a scalar 7 with an identity matrix will be equal to a null matrix denoted by capital O. In the solution we will write down given matrix A which contains certain elements we need to show that A square minus 4A plus 7I is equal to O which is a null matrix. Let us proceed by finding the square of matrix A. The square of matrix A is equal to A times A. That is multiplication of matrix A by itself. Now the first matrix is of order 2 cross 2 and the second matrix is of order 2 cross 2. Now since the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of the second matrix, multiplication of the two matrices is possible. Let us proceed to multiply the two matrices. Let us start with first row and first column. 2 times 2 plus 3 times minus 1. Next, first row with second column. 2 times 3 plus 3 times 2. Next, second row with first column. Minus 1 times 2 plus 2 times minus 1 next second row with second column minus 1 times 3 plus 2 times 2 2 times 2 equals 4 plus times minus equals minus 3 times 1 equals 3 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 3 times 2 equals 6 minus times plus equals minus 1 times 2 equals 2 plus times minus equals minus 2 times 1 equals 2 minus times plus equals minus 1 times 3 equals 3 plus 2 times 2 equals 4 4 minus 3 equals 1 6 plus 6 equals 12 minus 2 minus 2 equals minus 4 minus 3 plus 4 equals 1 Next, let us find the multiplication of scalar 4 with matrix A. 4A, that is 4 times matrix A. Matrix A contain elements 2, 3, minus 1, 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 3 equals 12. Plus times minus equals minus. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Next, let us multiply scalar 7 with matrix I. 7 times I, that is 7 times the identity matrix. Now, since matrix A is of 2 by 2 order, therefore, the identity matrix must also be of 2 by 2 order. Now, let us substitute A square, 4A and 7I in this equation. Let us add and subtract the corresponding elements. 1 minus 8 plus 7 next 12 minus 12 plus 0 next minus 4 minus of minus 4 plus 0 next 1 minus 8 plus 7 1 plus 7 equals 8 minus 8 12 minus 12 equals 0 minus 4 minus times minus equals plus 4 1 plus 7 equals 8 minus 8 8 minus 8 equals 0 0 minus 4 plus 4 equals 0 8 minus 8 equals 0 therefore a square minus 4a plus 7i is equal to a null matrix or zero matrix of 2 by 2 order let us proceed to solve the second problem here we have been given matrix A which contains certain elements and we need to show that A cube minus multiplication of a scalar 23 with matrix A minus multiplication of a scalar 40 with an identity matrix will be equal to 
a null matrix denoted by capital O. In the solution, we will write down given matrix A, we need to show that A cube minus 23A minus 40I is equal to a null matrix. Let us first find A cube which is equal to a times a square. Now a square is multiplication of matrix A by itself. The order of the first matrix is 3 cross 3 and the order of the second matrix is 3 cross 3. Now since the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix, therefore the two matrices are conformable for multiplication that is, we can find the product of the two matrices. In multiplication of the two matrix, we will multiply first row with first column. That is, 1 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4. Next, first row with second column. 1 times 2 plus 2 times minus 2 plus 3 times 2. Next, first row with third column. 1 times 3 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1. Next, second row with first column. 3 times 1 plus minus 2 times 3 plus 1 times 4. Next, second row with second column, 3 times 2 plus minus 2 times minus 2 plus 1 times 2. Next, second row with third column, 3 times 3 plus minus 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1. Next, third row with first column, 4 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 times 4. Next, third row with second column, 4 times 2 plus 2 times minus 2 plus 1 times 2. Next, third row with third column, 4 times 3 plus 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1. Let us simplify. 1 times 1 equals 1 plus 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 3 times 4 equals 12. 1 times 2 equals 2 plus times minus equals minus. 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 3 times 2 equals 6. 1 times 3 equals 3 plus 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 3 times 1 equals 3. Next, 3 times 1 equals 3 plus times minus equals minus. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 1 times 4 equals 4. 3 times 2 equals 6, plus times minus equals minus, minus times minus equals plus, 2 times 2 equals 4, plus 1 times 2 equals 2, 3 times 3 equals 9, plus times minus equals minus, 2 times 1 equals 2, plus 1 times 1 equals 1, 4 times 1 equals 4, plus 2 times 3 equals 6, plus 1 times 4 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, plus times minus equals minus, 2 times 2 equals 4, plus 1 times 2 equals 2, 4 times 3 equals 12, plus 2 times 1 equals 2, plus 1 times 1 equals 1, 1 plus 6 plus 12 equals 19, 2 plus 6 equals 8, minus 4 equals 4, 3 plus 2 plus 3 equals 8, 3 plus 4 equals 7, 7 minus 6 equals 1, 6 plus 4 
plus 2 equals 12 9 plus 1 equals 10 10 minus 2 equals 8 4 plus 6 plus 4 equals 14 8 plus 2 equals 10 10 minus 4 equals 6 12 plus 2 plus 1 equals 15 therefore a square that is the multiplication of matrix a with a itself is equal to a matrix which contain elements 19 4 8 1 12 8 14 6 15 now let us proceed to find a cube that is multiplication of matrix a with a square now matrix a contain elements 1 2 3 3 minus 2 1 4 2 1 matrix a square contain elements 19 4 8 1 12 8 14 6 15 now since the order of the first matrix is 3 cross 3 and the order of the second matrix is 3 cross 3 and we can observe that the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix therefore the two matrices are confirmable for multiplication that is we can find the product of the two matrices let us start by multiplying the first row with the first column 1 times 19 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 14 next first row with second column 1 times 4 plus 2 times 12 plus 3 times 6 next first row with third column 1 times 8 plus 2 times 8 plus 3 times 15 next second row with first column 3 times 19 plus minus 2 times 1 plus 1 times 14 next second row with second column 3 times 4 plus minus 2 times 12 plus 1 times 6 next second row with third column 3 times 8 plus minus 2 times 8 plus 1 times 15 next third row with first column 4 times 19 plus 2 times 1 plus 1 times 14 next third row with second column 4 times 4 plus 2 times 12 plus 1 times 6 next third row with third column 4 times 8 plus 2 times 8 plus 1 times 15 let us simplify 1 times 19 equals 19 plus 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 3 times 14 equals 42 1 times 4 equals 4 plus 2 times 12 equals 24 plus 3 times 6 equals 18 1 times 8 equals 8 plus 2 times 8 equals 16 plus 3 times 15 equals 45 3 times 19 equals 57 plus times minus equals minus 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 1 times 14 equals 14 3 times 4 equals 12 plus times minus equals minus 2 times 12 equals 24 plus 1 times 6 equals 6 3 times 8 equals 24 plus times minus equals minus 2 times 8 equals 16 plus 1 times 15 equals 15 4 times 19 equals 76 plus 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 1 times 14 equals 14 4 times 4 equals 16 plus 2 times 12 equals 24 plus 1 times 6 equals 6 4 times 8 equals 32 plus 2 times 8 equals 16 
plus 1 times I made a mistake out here this should be 1 times 15 so 1 times 15 equals 15 19 plus 2 plus 42 equals 63 4 plus 24 plus 18 equals 46 18 plus 16 plus 45 equals 69 57 plus 14 equals 71 71 minus 2 equals 69 12 plus 6 equals 18 18 minus 24 equals minus 6 24 plus 15 equals 39 39 minus 16 equals 23 76 plus 2 plus 14 equals 92 16 plus 24 plus 6 equals 46 32 plus 16 plus 15 equals 63 therefore a cube is equal to a matrix which contain elements 63 46 69 69 minus 6 23 92 46 63 now let us multiply scalar 23 with matrix a 23 times 1 equals 23 23 times 2 equals 46 23 times 3 equals 69 plus times minus equals minus 23 times 2 equals 46 23 times 1 equals 23 23 times 4 equals 92 23 times 2 equals 46 23 times 1 equals 23 now let us proceed to multiply scalar 40 with an identity matrix i now since matrix a is of 3 by 3 order therefore we need to take an identity matrix of 3 by 3 order let us substitute a cube 23 times a and 40 i in the equation a cube minus 23 a minus 40 i now let us subtract the corresponding elements that is 63 minus 23 minus 40 46 minus 46 minus 0 next 69 minus 69 minus 0 next 69 minus 69 minus 0 next minus 6 minus minus 46 minus 40 next 23 minus 23 minus 0 next 92 minus 92 minus 0 next 46 minus 46 minus 0 next 63 minus 23 minus 40 minus 23 minus 40 equals minus 63 46 minus 46 equals 0 69 minus 69 equals 0 69 minus 69 equals 0 minus 6 minus 40 equals minus 46 minus times minus equals plus 46 23 minus 23 equals 0 92 minus 92 equals 0 46 minus 46 equals 0 minus 23 minus 40 equals minus 63 63 minus 63 equals 0 0 0 0 minus 46 plus 46 is equal to 0 0 0 0 63 minus 63 equals 0 therefore a cube minus 23 a minus 40 i is equal to a null matrix of 3 by 3 order